Hey guys, so I'm here at home. Uh, my buddy Michael had asked me to do a quick video on how to do really inexpensive food photography with little to no budget. The reason he asked was he said, hey, what kind of camera can I get to do this? And my answer is you don't really need like to go out and buy a expensive camera to do these things because it's really not about cameras, it's about light and having good light. Um, and right here, the window here is great light. This is basically what every photographer is trying to recreate in the studio by using soft boxes. Uh, but here we have a window light, which is all you really need. And you can get some really great shots. I would say as far as expense and cost, window light has got to be the best and most reasonable price you can possibly pay for great photos. One thing you could do is buy a window, especially on a day like today, which is overcast. You don't really want direct lighting, but if you have this beautiful, soft, overcast sky, you can use direct, quote unquote, direct sun and put your little still life here. Um, this is perfect. You get some beautiful, soft lighting and you, yeah, just take a shot. Another thing you can do is set up with uh, opaque shades like this, these little mini blinds, and set up right next to that. You can add some interest to your shot by, when you're framing it, zooming in a little bit and giving a little bit of an angle like that. A quick note about using window light is you should not ever, ever have an overhead light on. So please turn off all the other lights because what happens is you have yellow light and right now this is considered a blue light so you're gonna get this sort of ugly color that's mixed in. Don't do that. Pick one light which is this light. If for some reason you don't have window light even though I have a window right there um, you can get away with using a scrim like this. This is just a pop-up scrim. I think it cost me like I don't know, 20 bucks on Amazon and it comes with a little thing that goes over top so you can have shiny or you can have black and the only other thing or other things you would need like I have a light this is a video light uh, again I don't think it cost me very much but you can use this behind that I'm going to show you this a little bit later when it gets darker uh, and a piece of foam core which I bought at the dollar store for a dollar um, yeah, that's all you really need. And I'll show you what that looks like as soon as it gets stark. Sometimes you don't have light, but now we're going to show you how to work with light. So as I showed you earlier, we had the video light, which Donna is holding, and here's the scrim. And what we're going to do is just show you a nice soft light. Come in here. We'll take a picture of that. And I'm also using the cardboard, foam board, here as a fill. The beauty of these pop-up scrims is that they're very small, they're very versatile. You can have somebody, an assistant, hold it and just hold the light behind it, like Donna's doing for me right here. Or you can clamp it to a stand, or in this case, like we've done here with the board, I've used just a little clamp to basically just hold it right there. As you can see, it doesn't take much but a window to create beautiful food photography. You can also use a light that uh, we used in the studio. I'm gonna create a link to the pop-up scrim and to FilterStorm, the app that I used to do the post-processing.